Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another Planty video. It is me, Desiree, and today we're going to be repotting my two beautiful babies here, my variegated string of pearls. I bought these from... I already forgot. Where did I buy these? I'll put it here on the screen. I bought these on... Oh, Succulents Depot. I just remembered. I bought these from Succulents Depot not too long ago. They were $9. $9.50 or something like that. I couldn't believe it. Beautiful plants in great shape. They all have a bunch of flowers on them. They both really need water, but I also wanted to pot them both in the same pot. So I got my little pot here with some soil. I'm also going to cut off all these flowers. Normally, if a plant is flowering, I would never cut the flower off. I'll just stare at it forever. I don't care how much energy it's sucking out of the plant. I want the flower to stay there. But these ones, they don't smell good. Like, I can smell these just being in the room. Like, I had these over there on that shelf and I just knew they were in this room because I could smell it. They're so strong. Um, they're very beautiful to look at. Like, look how cute that is. And this one has like little purple little thingies coming out. It's so cute. They're so cute to look at. My other one, my other regular string of pearls on the windowsill is blooming as well. But for some reason, I can't smell that one as much as I can smell this. And I know everybody says it smells like cinnamon. I'm like, what, what cinnamon are you smelling that you think this smells like cinnamon? To me, they smell like camphor. They smell straight up like medicine, like first aid. Uh, my boyfriend said they smell like band-aids. And I'm like, yeah, it's first aid all the way. Why people think this smells like cinnamon? I have no idea. But let me know if you've ever smelled a string of flowers, a string of pearls flowers, let me know what you think they smell like because I think we're smelling the wrong cinnamon over here. Uh, so I'm gonna try to smash both of these into this pot. I know they don't really fit, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it fit and I'm gonna cut all these flowers off. So let me adjust here so we can get a better view. Okay, I'm trying to not be crooked, but it's like I'm gonna mess with it for 25 minutes trying to get it straight. And it's just a repotting video anyway, it's fine. But here are my two little babies. I will link these down in the description box because they were an amazing deal. And um, they arrived in great shape. I, I was super, super happy with everything from Succulents Depot. So it's not affiliated. They don't know who I am or anything. I'm just linking it out of the kindness of my heart because I want you to have one also. So first thing, let's cut off all these flowers. There are so many and I think they're so beautiful, but oh my God, they just stink. They just stink. Um, and I never thought in a million years I would cut flowers off of a plant before. Well, some of them are just popping off. They might have been already kind of spent. Like some of these have little dry pieces on them. I just noticed back there I have my Santa nightlight. I love that nightlight. It's my like favorite Christmas decoration I've ever, ever bought. But I keep a nightlight in here all year round for my cat. I don't know why, but for some reason I think my cat can't see at night and I'm like, the cat needs a nightlight. So I love to put that on for the cat. I think it's so cute. And I turn it off every morning, but then when I leave for work, when I come back at night to turn it back on for him, or when I, you know, it's just nighttime and I'm turning it back on for him, I always ask him like, oh, who keeps turning off your nightlight? As if it's not me. Anyway, those came off really, really easily. I'm thinking because they were kind of already spent. Like most of the uh, little like stems were already really, really dry. Yeah, they already dried up. So this one I'm hoping will come off super easily. And you can kind of see what the plant looks like when it needs water. I did um, a care kind of video on String of Pearls and how I care for them. And I also showed very close up what the plant looks like when it needs water. So I'll link that down below in case you wanna check it out and you wanna see uh, to kind of get a closer look at what the plant looks like when it's thirsty. But these get, the little pearls will kind of get a little dip in them. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, they get a little bit of a dip in them and they'll feel a lot softer than they normally do. I'm a huge, huge, huge advocate for touching your plants. Get to know your leaves. Get to know the way your plant looks and feels when it's fully hydrated. That way you know what it looks like and feels like when it needs water. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of touching the leaves and, and getting to know your plant like that kind of way. All right, oh yeah, most of those things just fell right off. There's a stem there that I think that's dead. Let's cut that off. A 
Oh, those look much nicer as well. Like just really cleaned up, much nicer. Okay, have my little soil here and I just got some cactus soil, like the, ca the soil that's done used for cactus and succulents. And I got the most shallow dish I could get, I could find. Or that I already had anyway. I'm gonna put a rock over the drainage hole just because uh, the drainage hole is a little too big and the, the soil will kind of fall out. All right, oh my gosh, I'm kind of nervous because I don't know how it's gonna go, but I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see, okay. I did want to wait till these were totally dry because I feel like it'd be easier and the soil wouldn't just fall off of the, the plant. Oh, there's another flower. The roots look really nice. I thought this was going to completely fall apart when I got it out. I mean, it's very, very loosely together. Like the roots are definitely not holding this together. I think the, just the soil being dry is what's holding it together. All right, next one, really gently. really nice same thing though roots are really like there's not a ton of them but they're very very lightly in there but it's definitely because the soil is dry that that's what's holding it together mostly but I'm gonna kind of smash it a little bit so it's this way if that makes sense not so round and I think I'm gonna do that for this one too just kind of smash it just this one feels way looser, like way looser than that one does. Um, oh yeah, that one fell apart super easy. But this one does feel a little more dense, so I think this might have a little more of a root structure. And I'm not a big proponent of moving the roots around and like taking all the soil off and I don't know, I just, I don't really care. I don't really like doing that. I feel like it shocks the plant a lot more but I want this to fit in here and I think I put too much soil actually. Let's get a little more out. I want to get one of those trays that people use to repot in their house. I think those are so cool. I saw a boot tray at Target. I think I want to get that because I had them for five bucks or like a larger one for ten. I think I want to get one of those. I don't need like a fancy one. I just need something, something kind of cool that I want to Okay, a little bit of a tight fit and that's also too much soil still. Okay, let's take out most of the soil. I'm gonna take all of it out. Yeah, it almost didn't need any. Okay, let's try to smash this in there. Let's put that one first, then this one. And I don't mind having such a tight fit. I feel like the, the roots grow, like it's such a slow grower uh, as far as roots grow. I don't think it needs like a ton of space and I think it'll do just fine kind of smashed in here close together. I think, I don't know, I don't know anything. I don't know anything about anything. Cool, now let's just fill it back up. It doesn't seem like it needs a lot of soil because I don't know. I guess I thought it was going to, like, I honestly thought it was going to fall apart all the way. And then I was just going to have the little pieces of plant to work with. But they they stayed together pretty nicely. I think the roots are pretty, uh, kind of nice in there. Let's kind of settle that soil a little bit. I think this looks awesome. I love this shallow pot. I don't find these that often. I think I got this at probably Lowe's, Home Depot maybe. I don't find them that much, but I think these are definitely made for succulents, like a little succulent garden or a cactus garden. That way you're not using too much soil because, you know, those kinds of plants definitely don't need that much soil to grow in. Let me make sure I get a little on the edge here. I feel like it's empty. All the sides make sure it's not 
too much of a gap. That feels good. Oh, and then there's going to be a little piece cascading right there. Oh my gosh, I love it. So as far as the repotting process of this went, I think this was way easier than I was expecting. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. That looks so good. I'm so happy with that. I'm so, so, so happy. Oh my God, that looks darling. Uh, the repotting process went really easily with this one. I honestly was expecting it to really fall apart because I have had other succulents you know, that I've repotted or unpotted just to kind of put them in something else. And all the soil falls off of the plant. There's like no roots there at all. And it's just really challenging to um, to get it in the pot. But this one, this one was nice, I think, because it had a lot of roots kind of holding the soil together. So it wasn't such a mess. There's one little strand here that I'm not sure is gonna make it. It's super shriveled up. I don't know about that one. Or it's very dehydrated, I don't know. Because a lot of the plant looks okay, but there are a lot of pieces that are very dehydrated. So, gonna go give this some water. And how I'm gonna water this is I have a big basin of water in my kitchen that I just keep there all the time. And since this has a drainage hole underneath, I just put it plant the plant in the water and then um, just leave it in there until it soaks all the water through the drainage hole and then the top of the soil is nice and wet and then I feel the plant is 100% saturated, every single speck of soil is wet and then that's it. Then I just let it like drip dry and then I'll go put it in its little place and I think I'm going to keep this either here in this windowsill or in my um, living room windowsill. Okay, I think I put it back kind of crooked, it's fine. But that's it, that's my little repotting video. I just wanted to show you how I was gonna do it. I'm glad it wasn't such a big mess like I thought it was going to be, but oh my gosh, look. Look at this beautiful plant. I still can't believe I own this and that I bought it and it was such a good deal. But that's it, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one. Um, I will link this plant in the description box. You can buy one for yourself. I also have an unboxing video where I, I opened up the order that I received from. Um, succulents Depot. I did buy it with my own money, of course, but I unboxed it so you could kind of see how it arrived and it was in perfect shape. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you later in another video. Uh, goodbye.